hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you the peak function so what peak is it's basically uh, a functionality or a function uh, let me write it peak and as you can see it takes the field name and row number and the table name to uh, to that field or to that tables field which is already in memory so for example if i let's say wanted to access the row id then it's okay or let's say if i want to access uh, uh, maybe a customer name let's say for example or maybe shipping cost then i can use the something like uh, peak and then the field name i will take shipping cost uh, over here comma and uh, then the uh, what what i want i want to access first uh, value of the shipping cost then i will specify zero if i want to access the um, second row then one uh, and third row then two and uh, fourth row then three so so on and so forth so what what it basically indicates is uh, if you want to specify these numbers they will access their specific cell value in that particular field all right um, but if you say negative one it will be the last value or minus two second last value minus three third last value so once you specify let's say i say zero and i need to provide as as is basically i need to give this field some name right so let's say first shipping value just i'm creating a name so then the question comes uh, where would i use that well there are many situations in which uh, it can be really really useful for example if you have the data in a part which is in a particular order um, so yeah for example i have uh, stock data for you right uh, let's say you are interested in knowing uh, what was the difference between the final close price than the first close price then in in click sense here it will not work for sure but uh, you will basically use the peak function to basically access the last value so you will say peak adjusted close comma minus one what output it will give you is this value it will not work in this case for sure in this case for sure because we are in excel but uh, if you apply this formula peak adjusted close minus one it will give you 1523 and uh, if you say uh, uh, minus uh, adjusted close right then it will 1523 minus 1442 for this particular row will give you the output right so this is basically an idea behind the peak or if you say peak um, zero adjusted close comma zero minus adjusted close guess what it will be the output you can pause the video for a minute and come back so hopefully i think you have uh, got the answer it will be zero because zero indicates the first uh, row the value from the first row of this column so this will be 1442.83 minus 1440.83 it will be zero and the next cell it will be 1442 minus 1416 in the third cell here 1442 minus 1350 so this kind of thing uh, uh, this kind of uh, operation we have to do in a lot of cases like uh, we are looking at the performance of a forecast uh, by free freezing a one particular day or the last day or in case of head count or attrition we want to get a final count then uh, we are uh, considering uh, what the final count is removing the attrition and adding the new hire all that sort of different combination is something which you need to do and uh, peak can come really handy in that case so i just wanted to give you uh, an idea by giving you this example and those different scenarios in which it can be really useful so i will say go ahead apply it uh, as you can see here in scripting there is no issue i will fact click on save and load the data finally it will be loaded without any issue and if i go to my uh, data model viewer 
I will see this uh, newly created field for me which I can use then in the front end so if I say over here uh, let me drag a little bit more I am having a bit of a difficulty but yeah I uh, think so first shipping value I don't know whether you can see it um, yeah, let me expand it a little bit I think now it should be fine first shipping value is something now it is part of my data model or my data I can go ahead and use it so this is the concept I just wanted to tell you uh, go ahead use it find any issue let me know in your comments and uh, hopefully I will I will uh, be able to answer your query so that's pretty much it and I will meet you in the new video the new topic